Good morning, everyone. So on this week's episode, not only are we joined by a special guest, but we are going to be taking a look at one of Spain's finest guns and seeing if they really are worth the hype. So without further ado, it's time to head out and meet up with Jonathan McGee of Keeman Guns UK. Lovely shooting. Paul. Oh. Yes. I appreciate you letting me show you some guns. No, I appreciate you joining us. I mean, you've travelled some miles to be here today. I was, yeah. We, I did shoot 800 cartridges in Cornwall yesterday and only left a few hours ago, but I'm tired today. Apologies. <laughs> Um, I have brought you one, two, three, four, five, six. I think there's there's best part. Well, I've got ten guns. Um, there's five over and unders over there, and two side by sides we can use. So we've got a fair few to play with. There's a few to play with. Um, my favourite at the moment is a beast of a black action, which I think for the clay shooting market nowadays is absolutely perfect. Yeah. It's a 32 inch multi choked high. It's, a, it's got a step rib. Yeah. You're a fan of a step rib. It's got a slight step rib. It probably won't fit you perfectly, but it's the main gun that Kemen are known for, it's our black enameled, um, and a black enameled gun. And as I've been importing Kemen now for a year, it's the one that everyone wants to see. It's there, everyone wants to see. Um, so I think we should have a go with that first. Can we start with that one? Yeah. Right. Kit up? Yeah. And we'll go. By that, just ears. <laughs> yeah. So we'll start with your KM4. Yeah, so the, your, yeah, the black action. Your beast. The most popular. Um, so obviously think, this is the step up one. I was, I was going to say, I think I just think they're absolutely amazing. Like I say, it's the standard model which Kemen have been known for. It's the one which I believe George Digweed and everyone started with 30 plus years ago now. But they are, I say like Kemen, it's Basque for strength. It's, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. A, hell of a, a hell of a gun. Um, they've got a drop plate trigger, uh, a drop lock action. This one's got um, a barrel selector. This one's actually fixed. The safety's fixed off because it was predominantly a trap gun. Bevertail four end, and with all these guns, you can have whatever you want. Yep. Most of the orders are custom. That one's been in the mud yesterday when I was clay shooting. <laughs> uh, but yeah, most of the orders are custom. So if you wanted a palm swell, if you wanted whatever stock length, stock choice, yeah. But pads, uh, barrels, obviously, you can have different beads. You can have whatever choking design you want. Yep. But I believe and this it's one's got full and extra full and extra full. full yeah, pretty much. Yeah, so it's, it's tight. I mean, like I say, it was used as a trap gun, so they wanted to make sure what they were shooting was going to yeah. perish. So, obviously we've already looked at this one a little bit. Yep. And it's a touch high for me. But He's making his excuses, excuses now. Excuses in early, but we'll have a go. Um, I've just sent you G-Bird. <laughs> these bloody things on. Right. What should we do? Do you want to go around the houses, see yeah, how it fits? Yeah, go around the houses, yeah. yeah, single birds. So I think the A target was a high, sort of left to right looping. Paul. I think you got it. I'd, I'd take that as a kill. I'd take that as a kill. I'd say I always prefer using a slightly tighter choke. You know where the, you know where the pattern's going. Me and you have both shot four tens. Yeah. Accuracy's key. Yeah. And you know when you break it, you break you it. You break it, you break it. Except that long one. I'll take any sort of kill on that long that one. F, that F bird, if we can hit that today, it's a miracle. Oh. Yeah, that'll do it, Ed. And that handles beautifully. I mean, it's high in the stock, so yeah. you're having to make the adjustments for it. Yeah. But... Like I say, if, if people were ordering these from you, it would be fully custom, so yeah, we'd, we'd get you the exact you gun want. you wanted. I mean, the balance on it is beautiful. Yeah. It's right between the hands where you want it. And it, it doesn't, what does it weigh, roughly? 810, I would have said, and it's, it's not, a heavy gun. As soon as you close that, it's not. Well, I'd say I shot 800 shots through it yesterday. Yeah, and it's I not. I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm built for that, Ed. You might struggle a bit, but... <laughs> Thanks, mate. We'll, we'll see how we get on. <laughs> uh, we'll go for that long crosser on the seabird. Seabird, yeah. Oh. Yep, yeah, that'll do it. I mean, that is I quite like the way that your shooting's improved now the camera's been turned on as well. Because <laughs> the practice yeah, earlier did impressive. not go this well. <laughs> oh. Oh. No. Leave that in. <laughs> I think you're in front of it. I think I was. I was waiting for yeah. it. Yeah. Oh. Oh. That's a better kill. 
So we're going to break out the F-Bird, which we've already found is not very nice, isn't I it? Think, I, think we're, I think with the kit we've got here... There's a smite chance I might hit it. Yeah, we might be ready for it, obviously. I think if you were going a slightly wider pattern at that distance, it might sort of run out with a 28 gram, but... I don't know. I think, we'll give I think, it a bash. I, I mean, this... get it. it's not that far. It's about. It's a seventy-yard target. It's past that tower. And obviously, the wind today is absolutely awful. The wind's isn't it? pushing it further. So. So yeah. yeah. Right. Let's go on. We'll bash out the F bird. Whoa. Uh, actually, not a chance. But actually, now that that sun's gone in, that's an easier that's target. A better target. You can see it that side there. Yeah. I mean, would you like me to have a go? Just Come on, to... Mr. Keeman. And this is where this, we I'm cut to really Jonathan upset. killing it first time. That's right, isn't it? <laughs> I'm pre-mounting, obviously, as well. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're on the same page now. I think we'll, uh, I think we'll try that again. Oh. Nope. That is not a nice target. This, Which, this for me is one of my absolute favourites though. Yeah. Although it's the cheapest of the range, these are still £14,000 plus VAT. Yeah. Um, so they're not a cheap gun, but I think if you were to compare another gun of the same price, this would take three times longer for us to build. Yes. The yeah, quality yeah. is just amazing. Everything's hand finished, hand polished. And yeah. And like you say, obviously everything's customised for exactly. what you want. Exactly. I, I fell in love with these guns the first time I saw them about 10 years ago on a grouse moor. And, and since then, I've just been lucky to be put in a position where I can actually support them. Yeah. But should we have a look at something more fancy? Yeah, let's have a look at something shiny. Something shiny, <laughs> yeah. Lovely. So the next, I would say step up, but obviously there's a couple of, there's a, well, there's a lot of steps up, shall we, to get to this one. Um, this is a side plated model. Obviously, we have what's called um, a Suprema, and a Suprema basically gives you beautiful engraving, push button four ends. All of our guns have a drop, uh, the drop lock action, but the Suprema gives you a slight upgrade on wood. We've got, God, I think even with this model, there's 15 different engraving styles that you can have, all hand engraved. And what um, does something like that start at as a starting price? 38,000 plus that. Okay. So they are an expensive gun. It's, yeah. it's not a middle of the range gun, it is an expensive gun, but for the value, there's nothing in the price yeah. bracket. And the you, prestige you, that yeah. you're getting with it as well. I mean, you'd be looking at like, what, SCOs or something like that, Brer SCOs or a very good Parazzi or something like yeah. that, but I don't know, it's just, they are they are just an amazing gun. I'd love to see, you've already shot this, so it'd and be quite nice to see. that one seems to fit me a little bit better than the exactly, other. Exactly, so. that is too high. So, I mean, if you can improve, improve the shooting that you've already been doing. <laughs> with this amazed, one. Yeah. What have we not done yet? E. Um, yeah, let's have an e bird, Easy shall income, we? Isn't it? That might be a nice one. Pull. See how that moved with the wind as well, though. <laughs> I had to That's... wait for that. Oh. Lovely shooting. That handles like an absolute dream. Yeah. And what does that come in weight-wise? That's going to be a fair bit less than that. That's, that's just over eight pound. I think it's like eight one or eight two. Yeah. But like you say, it, it fits you a lot better. That step rib. It's just the too too high for me. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Once my. Um, but I mean that that that's essentially a game gun though. It's it's not it's not fitted out for like. As a clay shooting. Excessive I mean, I, clay shooting. It's got I'm, a fixed central rib and stuff and. Yeah, I mean, I'm a bigger fan of the narrow rib. The, yeah. the wide ribs I've always struggled with. I think it's that a straight seven mil. Yeah. And again, with all these sort of guns, though, you can have whatever you want. Yeah. If you want a, a flat 11 mil with a slight five mil step rib and a central, uh, a central steel bit, uh, brass bead and a big fluorescent on the end, you can have whatever you, can you have want. Everything you want with them. Yeah. And that's that's the beautiful thing with this is it's whatever you want it to. Yeah. Obviously, there's a price tag on exactly. that. Exactly. But. I think and it's one of those things as well, for the price tag even, you're still getting an incredible amount of value for money considering what you're playing with. I mean, how many guns a year will Keeman produce? I mean, this is just to talk We're about... We're up to about 100 year. sort of guns a year. Yeah. And that is still, I mean, it's, it's a lot of production. It There's is. about 15 working in the team now as well yeah. in terms of engravers and everyone who does all of the work. But it, it's all done in the factory as well. And yeah. that is, that's what I'd like to encourage as well, people to go over there because the factory is amazing. It's yeah. such a... A close knit family unit, and that is something that you offer, isn't it? You yeah, offer exactly. The trips yeah. I go over there. six times a year. The last time we took four people over there, and they they were buying this sort of gun. Yeah, game shooters who wanted this sort of gun. But for me, I'd like to encourage the clay shots. The clay shooters are where 
It was um, Juan Cruz Sarawerti who started the brand about 30 years ago. Um, and the, that was a double discharge. And the, and the clay the clay market was the biggest thing that they found as well, yeah. with the likes of digweed starting with them. Yeah. Um, that'd I mean, be, that'd some, be what I'd like to encourage. Something as that as a clay setup with a slightly heavier stock. It'd be phenomenal. Would be it? beautiful. It would, it? yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, so far I've looked through all of them already, but yeah, that I've well, got to say is one of my favourite aesthetic ones. We'll get the side beautiful. besides out next. Oh God, no! Don't yeah. side. <laughs> right. We'll have one more with Go this. Go these silly things back on. And I'm going to try that F bird again. F bird, yeah. Pull. I think we're over the top. Do you? Yeah, I think I think if you took a tram line on it and cut it straight over, so rather than what I'm trying to do on half of these birds is pick it up there and drive and, off it. Yeah, and like cut across it. Because if you try and follow it, you're always above, but no oh, great. Money where your mouth is. Come well, on. Well, yeah, I mean I've got <laughs> I've got I've got an achy shoulder. Oh. Safety. Oh. Then again, who knows? Who knows? We are going to hit one. I'm, I am just going to... I think that wants a tad more lead. Yeah, it's a batu on it. Well, a batu turning on edge, though, isn't it? So, pull. You're not far off at that. No, I don't think so. Another couple of boxes of cartridges we'll get there. <laughs> I've got um, a slab, we're all right. I will show you another one. Uh, I wouldn't say it's not a step up in engraving quality because it's another it's a box lock it's not a side plate yep but it is a titanium action okay. and like the Kemen have been making a titanium action now for 30 years um, there's only one other gun maker Fabry who I think have mastered the titanium um, it's a very hard thing to do it's a very hard material very I mean hard material yep. to work with because it is so strong and so durable but what you'll find with that is the weight distribution is absolutely phenomenal. Like a lot of guns will need additional weights in the barrels and yes. stuff to make them to make them weigh and like feel perfect. Whereas with that, it's a parallel gun. It comes up so so nicely. Probably one of my second favourites, I'd say. Okay. So let's go for that. And, and these are all pairs as well. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. So next then. Titanium. Like I said, the the next progression, shall we say, in in the in the series that we've done, we started with the black action, which I say is the most popular, yep. the clay gun. Um, obviously they are all available in clay gun but the black action is the most reasonable gun that we do you then jump to the side plate we've just used you can then jump again to a titanium action so it's an Eda titanium with all the Suprema features that we had on before so the push button fore end you can have again whatever you yep, want in fully it customizable. the action on these is absolute, absolutely perfect for me it's, there's, there's nothing there in the centre, yeah, and the, the gun is just perfectly weighted, and that for me is one of the biggest features that Kemen have. Is they, the, I'll, let, I'll let you. Have a, I I'll, mean, that is. It, it's it's still I think seven pound twelve, but so it's for not a, a twelve over and under. That yeah, is. It's I not, mean, just to show you. I mean, the balancing point on that is absolutely perfect in the middle. It's, you get some wonderful features though when you I say you can get a titanium action without all the Suprema push button four ends and all that sort of stuff but yeah. this is just for me the delicate like rose and scroll engraving uh, again it's got the drop lock mechanism and all yeah. that sort of stuff nice piece of wood it's a beautiful gun and it, it, it very pretty for and clay shooting as well it's it's really nice I mean this one's got a nice palm swell on it as well actually that's, I'll do you with your big hands uh, that's got a that's yeah. got a good feel right give it a go let's have a bash yep yeah. you can go first again seem to be doing well with that great I mean, the closing of that, that's Rolls-Royce door, isn't it, that is? Yeah, which just is, so I think, smooth it's and... the reason why you'd have a titanium action on a gun yeah. as well, because, just... you know, you're reducing the tolerance, you're reducing the things that could possibly go wrong on it, and, I mean, you guys have worked on a few of them for yeah. me, which yeah. is Yeah, I nice mean, they're and... ever so well put together, but for me, I mean, that closing, that's yeah. just... That's about as, that's about as finesse as I've yeah, ever seen you do anything as well. Yeah, that's as smooth as you're going to get. Yeah. Right, let's see if I can do it some justice. So we'll start with there, yeah? Pull. Oh. oh dear! I, can, I can't speak. I'm I'm knackered from yesterday. So Must work hard. It's I'm, about time I'm, you. It's about time you missed one. I've got a bad leg. 
got a bad leg. You've got a bad leg. I've got I mean, a bad I mean, leg. Yeah, you're, you're twisting quite well on it. Should we do C? Uh, yeah, we'll Think go for the C. The tower. Well. No. Ah, oh, let's go that, with wind affecting on that, that one. That was that. Yeah, that it was did that was away in the wind. About two meters spread part at that distance is. Whoa. Lovely That's shot. better. The only thing with that that I can say is, for me, Too light. that's a bit on the light yeah. side. Going from an eight, an eight good, pound, yeah, an the black action, the black action pound is a whole pound that, heavier. It's just, yeah, yeah. I mean, it'd be an awesome game gun as a grouse gun. So we shot those um, on a very busy day up in uh, up in Cumbria, and it was phenomenal. Yeah, I mean, I was putting thirty-four gram fours through it all day long. Yeah, I mean, there's that. Those sporting and HVs are one of the faster cartridges yeah, in yeah. AMP's range. So yeah. obviously they're a little bit more recoil. They're about 1,400 feet per second. Yeah, 1,450-ish. Like yeah. And there's hardly any recoil from yeah. that. It's purely just, for me, that's a touch on the light side. But yeah. like I said, a pair of game guns. Partridge. Well, that, you'll have to borrow them for partridge uh, shooting, won't you? I'm going to have to do another ground well, I need to try and hit I? that C first. I know. Oh, well, yeah, if you ever get, if you ever get a chance to go grouse shooting, Ed. I haven't shot these in so long as well, though, but for me, it's... That's There's not just... many guns that you can do. I, I know it's I know it's sort of one of those funny things that you look at with a gun, but for me, when I'm when I'm shooting, I love to be able to just. I say the only other one, the only other gun that I've always been in awe about is Fabry. But you could buy ten of these for the price of a Fabry, and you don't have to wait seven years. And it is a, it's probably a different market as well. But these, I just love the. That's it's absolutely effortless yeah. to pose that gun, isn't it? It's delicate as well as being a. A relatively sort of heavy gun. Uh, so what are we doing? C. Yeah. Pull. Beautiful. Uh, what was? Oh, should we try and shoot that rabbit really fast? Pull. <laughs> I can count that, that as a kill, can I? Knock you, out. you scared that to death. Let's try the rabbit. Oh. That's breaking on the bow. It is, isn't it? Yeah. So where do we move from here? I, I can show you another titanium 20 bore, which is a beautiful gun. Yeah, go on, let's shoot Should we try? Should we try that? So the next gun is, you thought this was light. The next one is a whole pound lighter again. It's a 20 bore. It is a very light, fast game gun. It's a for me, start the season partridge shooting. Yep. If you're going to take anything, you take that with take that. 24 gram sixes. Perfect. So I think that's the next one that's I want to show you. That's the next on the list. So this is another titanium. It is, a yeah. 20. So it, it's, it's hard to sort of talk in levels of progression, but this is a, just a completely different gun. It's obviously a game gun. It's six pound 10, I believe. Another yep. one of a pair. And it's another one that I've shot quite a lot that's just, my favorite uh, engraving so far yeah our backhoe engraving a that traditional is, sort of like spanish style absolutely yeah. fabulous and a lot of the spanish guns and obviously the game guns especially you've got a slight beaver tail yes i don't know why but i i work with that so nicely yeah. and even with some of the some of the bigger guns but yeah i think i think for today it could be quite a good one it's a bit more pointy a bit more pokey we might be able to like and with the wind today. With the wind and especially. Them all over the place. that's our excuses out of the way but yeah i'd love you to have a go with it right like i say it's very light for me, Spanish partridge, English partridge, grouse. It, grou exactly, perfect grouse gun. Yeah. Absolutely. Perfect I mean, your loader would love you if you turned up with a pair of them, wouldn't they? They would, yeah. Because you know, two of those at you two know, of those what, like thirteen pounds. Si yeah, exactly. Six pounds is straight up. And uh, again, I've mentioned it before, but with the titanium action, the balance is absolutely. I'm trying to do this in the wind, but the balance is absolutely perfect. And because it's so well balanced over your hands, it's not just all in the action. Yeah. If you're still in the grouse. Grouse butt. Yeah. It's easy. Beautifully light. We just need some grousey targets now. Yeah. All right. of these are a bit lofty and high, but they I'm sure are. we'll be able to I'm find them. all over the place. Right. You get stuck in. Have you got some cartridges? I've got some shells. We've got some ears. Check. Let's go. Uh, B? Uh, I'm going to go in the deep end and go F. F? Yeah, let's go deep end and go well, F. Well, F. Right, okay. Paul. Way that over the top. That was shockingly bad shot. That's just over the top, I think. But I would have said the distance wasn't too far off, but. Neither of us really know what we're talking about. So. No, no. We could do with a professional shooter. Yeah, we should, yeah, someone. Oh. That's the way. Oh.
Oh. That is absolutely do it. Yeah. fabulous. Uh, and obviously it is a completely different gun to the ones we've been shooting. Yeah. But I think from a game stance, if I was to take any gun on you know, a small driven, well, I'll say small driven day, I've put 800 shots in on the day before. Yeah. But I think if you were to take any gun on a driven day, like say early season. Something like that. Yeah, and it's a 20 ball. I mean, I'm, I'm a, I won't say a purist, but 24 grams. Sixes. Sixes, Perfect. partridge. You, you're not going to... Yeah. I mean, same again, go I've got the, the same problem that I had with the previous titanium, is that you've got to control it. Yeah, you're not I'm used to the weight. slow everything down. Yeah, yeah. It's because you're so I think, strong. So strong. <laughs> you, you buff that, guys, it's, it's, it's easy, yeah. But, but you know, you're right though, it's, a, it's six pounds 10, and it is a very, very light gun. Yeah, but again, the, the, the balancing point on it, yeah. and everything that we've gone through through the range, that's one I thing that so, I can yeah. pick up on so far, is the balance is, Beautiful on the it's, it's why historically they were so popular, especially with the titanium. The titanium for me is just a gun unlike any other. Yeah. Which is nice. Yeah. And, and this, this again's a drop lock. It's a drop. They all are. Yeah. All of the systems are. Even the, even the side by sides. Even the side by sides. Yeah. I mean, it makes it easier. They always come with a replacement trigger battery, as we call it. Yeah. It's a two and a half thousand pound addition to every single gun, and you can just pop it out if a mainspring goes. You pop it out, put a new one in. Put a new one in. Yeah. Done. Well, it's amazing that we can't hit that. <laughs> we just need someone here who knows. We need how to someone shoot. who can shoot. So yeah, I think I think now we've had a look at most of the range of guns. It's it's, pl it's playtime as much as anything. But do you want to have a go with the side by side? Go on then. Let's have a look at that. Obviously, both have both had a hammering yesterday. Yeah. But this 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 gun specifically spent ten years. At a very large Devon estate, getting used every single day. Probably wasn't cleaned very well because obviously it's had a nice big grip on it there. And yeah, it's taken, it's taken. When I took that off, most of the blacking came away. So this this pair need to go in for a really good overhaul. But the I would have said slightly unlike most game guns, you've got a big palm throw, big grip, big pistol grip, really pointy gun. Yeah. But I think I think you'll do quite well with these. We'll try. Should be an interesting test, won't it? <laughs> to jump straight from five different guns into another side, into, into an, a side-by-side. Side side. Side yeah. Got... So this one's a little bit more traditional. So straight hand stock. Yeah. Single trigger. Sing see, single nice. trigger, which is quite nice. So, it's also a 28 inch barrel. So again, this is another one of a pair, which I picked up when we first started. It's one of a pair, straight hand stock, like you've mentioned. And again, with all the Kemen, we've got a drop lock mechanism. Drop lock as Makes well. it so much easier. This also has 32 inch barrels with it, which I shot at a place called Walnut Tree Shoes. Yep. I couldn't miss with it, it was really annoying. I felt like I was being really greedy, but for some reason I just shot it, I shot it so, so well. It's, it's a been, horrible problem It's been very have. big headed, but I shot it really, really nicely. And to use a traditional gun like that for a nice game shoot, yeah, I think is such a nice thing to do. I mean, it's beautifully engraved. Side pick action. Yeah, it's what we classify as our extra lux A engraving. It's a very delicate rose, uh, very delicate rose and scroll. But again, this is this is a gun that's been in England for ooh, 22 years now. Yeah, uh, it's had a lot of use, but it, it but it, it goes, still looks as good as new. Yeah, it's a testament to how well these guns are made. It is immaculate because yeah. it has had some hammer. Right, but let's see if we can do some damage with it. I think you'll be all right. I easy, think you will. Easy target. I think first, you'll be all right. Please. Yeah. Pull. Pull. Oh, I stopped my gun. <laughs> I'd never say that because no one on the camera can see. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I shot that so well. Beautiful. Right. Uh, Seabird. Seabird. Pull. Nice shot. You can get one, Ed. It's G, isn't it? Oh. It was nice for it to jump right it to the was, point where you shot It was, just pulled the bloody trigger. What do you think? Single trigger's beautiful. It, I mean, it, it's one of those things that will catch people out, but I think, I, I, I mean, I, I shoot as many guns as you do, but I love this gun because it is a single trigger. Yeah, and, and you I, can jump onto it. Yeah. I mean, last week we did our 16 ball video when I shot yeah, the exactly. yeah, yeah. And the amount of times that I went front trigger, front trigger yeah. was ridiculous. It's hard to get over, isn't it? Um, Especially when you're used to shooting as many as very, many guns as we do. I mean, the, throughout the range, obviously, the trigger pulls on them are all 
yeah. uniform. It's so smooth. They can be they can be amended as yeah. much as any other gun, so that you know the trigger pull can be amended to what you want. So if it's a clay shooter who wants a really fine trigger, it can be done. It's no issue. Um, but yeah, it is. A, it is. A, they are pretty nice. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's beautifully engraved, and just everything about. I mean it's very traditional. I mean a lot of the modern over and yeah. now. They're you'd never bit, get you'd never get that style on no, anything other than chunky. Yeah, yeah. It, it's really nice through the hand here. The fore end is nice and slender. Speaking of chunky, right? Like I say, this this needs a bit of a refer because it was a, a very large Devon estate for a number well for a number of years. But nice game scene. Nice. It's got woodcock, uh, grouse Pheasant. and pheasants. I think yeah. there's a nice woodcock and a spaniel under here. Completely different style to the one you've just seen, though. Really deep, really thick hand engraving. Yeah, very dark. But again, it's this is an eight-year-old gun, I think. Um, that so yeah, that it, pistol grip is, and, and the palm swell, which I think you'll get on with a lot better. It is like that's like shooting an over and under. Yes, yeah. which is why. So I had a I had a client who shot. What was he using? 34 gram falls through it all day long yeah. at high pheasants. And he, he said, because of the way that the guns kick, you know, we've got a decent kick ease stock, we've got a huge grip, palm swell. Because of that, it can take it a bigger take cartridge. A right, let's give it a bash. What are we going to go with? Uh, we'll go around the house again. Oh, he's going for everything. We'll go, we'll go with easy stuff first. Right, go on then. Paul. I'm going to count that. I think you should count I'm that. I'm counting that. That, that was a chip. Pull. Beautiful shot. Pull. Perfect, great shot. What is that choked at? The first barrel would be three quarters. That it's, it's tight, I mean, that mullet did though. That's mullet, that. just a good pan. That's an ounce of eight. Testament to your amazing cartridges. Ounce of eight and that, absolutely yeah. middle of that. That, it's, it's different though, I mean you can't... What's really strange about that is... You can't compare the two guns either. The sight picture, obviously yeah. you've got the sight picture of you side by side, yeah. and it is just like shooting an over and under. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whereas this, this is a different gun entirely. Yeah. This is a very sort of, I say, look at the... You've got an inch across there and you've yeah. got... The, the different guns entirely, both shoot completely differently, but... that Just some of the offerings. That is really... I don't, I don't know how to word it, it's, that's quite you, strange. You, you'd go with that, wouldn't yeah. you? Yeah. 100%, it's quite strange to shoot because obviously your sight picture, you've got the side-by-side -side yeah, barrels, yeah. but it's just but it like shooting like an over and under, under without the yeah. weight. Which we have a lot of, I mean, you can't, is it, it's the live pigeon gun, isn't it? Which is the much heavier sort of wrap around sort of fore end and stuff yeah. like that. But those sort of bigger guns seem to take a much, I don't know, they're just easier to oh, I mean, use, much bigger cartridge. Yeah. Is obviously that exactly, bit yeah. yeah. But that. I'm glad you like it. I like that. Well, the only other thing that I'd quite like to show you then is uh, the trigger mechanism. Yeah. So I think, as a gun maker... We'll have a look at your trigger yeah, plate. you can have a look. Right. Because that's it's another nice thing that I think, because all of the guns, as I say, come with this drop lock trigger mechanism, it's a nice thing to show people. Yeah. Because obviously if you're shooting at a competition, I know there's others that do it, but if you're shooting at a competition and something goes wrong, deep, deep. Yeah. as long as it's nothing major, it's, it's a mainspring or something like that, you can just take the thing out. One in, one out. One in, one out. Okay, let's have a look at that. So yeah, basically, what I wanted to talk through next was uh, the drop lock action. Yep. Um, this is an example that's come from these guns and comes with the guns. Um, I wanted your assessment, because obviously one of the main things, and you've been so kind to work on a few guns now, um, one of the main things I've been doing since importing the guns for the last year is shipping out components. Yeah. Which has essentially been two full-time jobs for me, as well as everything else that I do, but we've sent out, I think, 640-odd sets of yeah. components well, like you said nobody's imported them for so long now so parts have been parts have been what people have been crying with. we've sold plenty of guns but yeah parts have been one of the main things that people have been crying out for which is great because now i'll see people using the guns in the field which yeah. is what i want um but yeah this is this is the battery essentially the spare battery which comes fully engraved with your choice of engraving based on you know the gun Imagine that you provided but I wanted your assessment, obviously, like I say, you've, you've dealt with them before in the past, you've done a few guns for us now. I mean, one of the first things is it's quite a basic action. Yeah. It's quite simple, which is is good. Yeah, I don't want definitely. anybody to think that's a, a knock on them because when they're overcomplicated, for the like sake some of other guns, just to make them look pretty or yeah. to make them look fancy or to be different, yeah, yeah. the issues that we have. So a nice, simple, basic lock is just yeah. the way forward. And I mean, they're very nicely put together. The quality of the components are very good. It's um, all chrome and stuff as well. I don't know whether that's um, something I mean, which is a, a difference in these sort of gun making, but 
we have a slight delay in getting some components to clients because obviously a lot of the mechanism is chromed. Yes. So it's a very, very high grade of steel that we use. And then obviously like the hammers and stuff like that go through a hand chroming, hand finishing yeah. process. But yeah, I mean, it's very nicely put together. Obviously, like I said, it's very basic, simple action. Yeah. Obviously, you've got your inertia block at the back here. Obviously, lifters, sears, main yeah. springs. Yeah, yeah. And obviously, on a V-spring action, which most of these are. Um, but yeah, it's it's one of those actions that they've, you know, time-tested, aren't they? Yeah, they, exactly, yeah. They work well. You I mean, know, again, we don't have many through the workshop, which is nice. We'll get a few more, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Well, now, now people are calling out for components. Yes, you can see want, more of them. Yeah, and we're, we're going to, you know, some of the best gun makers like yourselves to actually fit those components so we know they're doing well. Because yeah. we've had a few guns that we've seen haven't been fitted very well, haven't we? But yes. that's <laughs> because the components haven't been there, people have been trying to sort of fashion their own yeah. sort of things and use other, other brands and makers. But yeah, it's, uh, it's nice again, stuff. It's, with nobody importing anything or being able to really work on them, they're one of those guns, like you say, like with your, your standard MX4. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, you know, it's like KM4. 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 It's fine. Oh, Freudian uh, You know, yeah, yeah. they're there to be used. Yeah. And, you know, people are going to use them and enjoy them, and they just, you know, but it's good now. Obviously, you've got a good selection of parts, and obviously, it, yeah. with ourselves. Within a week, we can normally get most of the parts shipped out. If it's a chromed piece, it's two weeks from Spain, which yeah. isn't too bad. No. I'm not going to be fin home, uh, home chroming them at home, but. Uh, <laughs> There's, there's plenty in stock, there's plenty which, in which stock, is good. Yeah, which but is good, yeah. I'm glad you've had a chance to look through some things. I mean, I've thoroughly enjoyed shooting. Yeah, likewise. Them. I had all these guns. I say at a clay shoot in in Cornwall just yesterday. Uh, these will have stick. these will have had 1,600 shots through them, um, but I think that's a justifiable test. They are demo yeah. guns. One of those clients has been so good enough to sort of put an order in, which is amazing. Um, but the guns are there to be used. Yeah, if, they can't, if they can't take it, there's no point you know, you've having come, the fancy you've come engraving from a and stuff. Sim day yesterday. Yeah. Not, you know, being they've had some stick and come here yeah. today and worked absolutely faultlessly. Yeah. It is a real testament to obviously how they are put together. Yeah. I need to do some proper practice though now. Yeah. Well, me too. Yeah. I need to do some actual. We clay might have shoot. to go together for Actu some lessons. Actual, actual clay shooting <laughs> practice. Uh, I mean, no, no, no judgment on our amazing shooting that's just happened. Obviously, yes. there won't be any misses on camera, will there? None at all. Um, None. No, because we didn't miss. No, um, but yeah, definitely not that F word either. I, I need to do some proper practice as well. So I think uh, now you've had chance, you can either use one of these or use one of your guns, and we should get stuck into some practice. I think we should. I'm I'm going to have to pick a favourite though at the end of this. Okay, yeah. And I know I know which is your you've favorite. already put them on the table. Uh, I've already said you, they they're yours for as long as you want them. So. They are absolutely fabulous. Yeah, they are good. They the engraving, the stocking, the pistol grip. And this this is I believe so it's a. Uh, Although it's not a titanium action, you'd, it's, it does lose some of the balance, but it is a matching pair. They do have a very nice wood on them. I say you've got a slight palm swell, but it's, it's, I think it's our extra lux B engraving, which you can almost make out like water dragon sort of yes. styles and stuff on them. And it's that little a, bit different. It it's quite a Celtic a sort of style, but yeah, they are phenomenal, aren't yeah. they? I mean, I've thoroughly enjoyed shooting everything. Yeah. That side by side with the pistol you did grip. did very well with that, yeah. Surprised me the most yeah. because it picked it up and just felt normal. Yeah. That titanium 20 bore. Too See, light it's quite it. different. It's too light. <gasps> but that's i'd say that's probably my favorite engraving that you guys do but out yeah. of everything i've shot today so if we were to build you a what we classify as our backo engraved version of these that would be could almost almost get you as a sponsored gun then couldn't we that would be an absolute fingers stunner. crossed yeah <laughs> no. well thank you it's mate, been a pleasure mate i've really enjoyed shooting with you and going I, through it all with us and i dare say we'll probably have a few more of these on some game days in the future oh god yeah yeah and i'm having your hat at the end of this by the way for the collection fair enough so I would like to say a huge thank you to Jonathan for joining us the other day and allowing us to look through that awesome, awesome collection of demo guns that he had from Keeman. Now, this isn't the original closing part that we filmed because on reflection, I felt like there was a lot more that I could say. First of all, I want to start off by saying the quality of those guns that we had there in front of us, even though they were demo guns and they've been used, the quality of workmanship into those guns was absolutely fantastic the main thing that stood out to me was every single gun was balanced so so incredibly well and i mean with everything i get to shoot i i don't think there's anything i've shot so far that has come close to handling like those guns 
My favourite one out of the few had to be the side plate over and under 12. It just, it handled beautifully. It was, the engraving was so pretty and deep. Just everything about that gun just, it, it was just such a, a pleasure to shoot. And I mean, it, it's one of those things that, it's really, really exciting to go out and do these things and an absolute privilege to be able to shoot those guns. But if I had to pick one from the day that, that was my favourite, it would be that side plate 12 over and under. It was just fabulous. I mean, the 20 bore titanium, that backo engraving is stunning. I mean, a 12 side plate with that on would just be an absolute dream. But the gun that surprised me the most out of the lot was the drop lock pistol grip 12 side beside. I can't really find the words to describe it. It's one of those guns you picked it up and as I said in the video, that right hand palm swell, the pistol grip, it, it just felt like shooting an over and under, obviously without the weight. And the drop and the cast and everything came into play for me on that day. And it was one of those guns that it was really unassuming. It was the last one out the bunch that we shot. And I just, obviously I was really enjoying myself. And then just to pick it up and just be like, wow, just, you know, there's something about that gun that just, it felt like I could swap from a side by side to an over and under without even just thinking about it. And it was an absolute joy to shoot. But one of the main things from the day that stood out to me is Jonathan himself. As the importer of the UK, I have never met a nicer, more helpful guy. And obviously Jonathan puts demo days on around the country. So if you guys are interested in looking at one of the Keemans, get in contact with Jonathan. Obviously, as I said, I will put his contact information in the description below. He will put on a demo day for you and you can look at the range of guns and go from there with your order. And obviously, like I've said before, everything is customizable. You can have whatever you want from these guys. And they are, yes, a pricey gun, but they are premium. And all of these guns are all hand put together in their small factory. And it's just I mean, I'd love to go out there. Obviously, it is an option available to you guys to go out there and see the gun being made and everything that's put into it, which I think would be an absolute treat. But the reason that we refilmed or I refilmed this section is just because, as I said, on reflection, I felt like there was so much more. And now that it's had time to set in and obviously the enjoyment of the day and the, the shooting of the guns and obviously being with Jonathan, everything just sort of came together in my head and I felt like I needed to to refilm our you know our our closing piece and yeah I mean I just as you guys can see I, I had an absolutely fantastic time really really enjoyed shooting the guns and spending the time with Jonathan and it's it's like I said it's a real privilege and I think if it's something that you're even considering do it because they are a phenomenal phenomenal gun so Again, huge thank you to Jonathan from Keem and Guns UK for joining us and thank you to everyone for watching this week and we'll be back to you next week with another video. Just want to take the chance to say a huge thank you to all of our followers and everybody that watches our videos as well as our sponsors. None of this would be possible without all of you guys. Thank you.